Hi there everyone and today I'd like to show you another very beautiful chess game from the 19th century of chess. One of the notable chess games of the 19th century. And in this chess game white is Karl Mayet. And probably his name is familiar for you if you watched his game against Daniel Harvitz and he lost that game brutally in a very humiliating way. And is he going to win this time? Well, his opponent, who is playing with the black pieces, is Wilhelm Henstein. And Henstein was also a German chess master. This game was played in Berlin in 1837, but at that time, the king of the chess world was Louis Charles Mahé de la Bordene, the French chess master. And some people are claiming that he was as strong as Paul Morphy. Probably, indeed, he was as talented as Paul Morphy, but I don't know if he was as strong as Paul Morphy. So if you're a historical chess fan, you should check out the chess games of La Bordene. If you don't, you are missing a lot. So right now let's check out the game between Karl Mayet and Wilhelm Heinstein. So Mayet starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, f5. Knight takes on e5, queen to f6, attacking the knight, d4, d6, knight to c4, f takes on e4, knight to c3, knight to e7, d5, queen to g6, h3, h5, bishop to f4, bishop to f5, queen to d4, a6, and Mayet played a4. Knight to d7, and Mayet castled in the queen side. Knight to f6, and it's white to move. After Henstein played knight to f6, Mayet played a very aggressive move. Well, he played bishop takes on d6, sacrificing the bishop. C takes on d6, but then knight takes on d6, that's check. King to d7, but then knight takes on b7 now. And for sacrificing the bishop, white gets three extra pawns. And of course, materially, this is not losing at all for white. So we have knight to c8 by Henstein, and Karl Mayet played d6. So Henstein played king to e8, but let's take it back. After d6, if let's say a5, then bishop to b5, that's check. King to e6, knight to d8, that's checkmate. So in this position, black needs to be very careful. King to e8, queen to e5, that's check. King to d7. And can you guess the next move of white? What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? There is force checkmate for white. And Karl Mayet is going to checkmate his opponent. Well, did you guess the move? Karl Mayet played bishop to b5, sacrificing the bishop. A takes on b5, and then queen takes on b5. Check. King to e6 is the only move. And Karl Mayet played knight to d8. Checkmate. What a beautiful chess game from the 19th century of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye for now.